Hey guys, Luke here, and welcome back to Season 3, Episode 4 of my Rugby League Live 3 Be A Pro Series with James Hart, and as you can see here, we're still at the Bulldogs here, and we will be for the next few seasons, and uh, one thing to mention, you might be thinking, uh, why is the game, well, why are the video so much longer compared to the previous seasons, and if you haven't watched the previous episodes, uh, well, if you have watched them, you'll know that it's because we've changed the game length to 10 minute halves, which is uh, something that I think has been a welcome addition um, to the series, just a lot more entertainment uh, in the games, because I believe last season, or in the first two seasons, there were some games where nothing really happened, but uh, looking at the Tiger side here, there's a few names I didn't really know, like the hook, uh, sorry, the lock I didn't really know, I don't know who George King off the bench is, but Mitchell Orbison is a good signing for them, and although it's nowhere near the side that Mr. Luke coaches in uh, his um, coach mode, and it seems to be a pretty decent side, I suppose, but a side that we should be beating nonetheless. Preseason wise we had a 6 or draw against them, so we do have... Um, experience taken on them within the last few weeks so we sort of know what to expect and obviously it's a good little battle against Tedesco who's rated really well in this game uh, obviously he should be he's a pretty good player in real life but um, yeah like I said it should be a good battle and I gotta say the next uh, the next game will also be another good battle up against Matt Moylan but before we get to Matt Moylan we're gonna get through uh, this game that was a big tackle I don't know who the hell that was who had the ball but another solid around the legs tackle and we're gonna continue doing that for the time being but I do want to eventually stop doing the around legs tackle, and you'll be able to see we'll be making more and more tackles that are arm pin tackles and that sort of stuff. Right here, another break up the wing here from the Tigers, and I think it's Nofaluma. He made a lot of line breaks in that preseason game up that wing, and I don't know what, what Brett Morris is doing, but particularly uh, came from that sort of side, or from that side, I should say, not that sort of side, but um, it was Tedesco there who came up with a big run, palmed us off really, really easily, and then Curtis Sirin and someone who... Did score a try, I think. Uh, I think he ran straight over top of us in uh, the preseason. He came up with a pretty big run. We made the tackle, but right here, Tedesco does enough to sort of stop us from going in and scoring a try. But can we follow it up? Last time we made a break was against the Roosters, I think, and we followed it up with a pretty nice try to Josh Morris. This time, it is a kick by Josh Reynolds, and they are going to scrape out of the in goal as well. So that was quite annoying. That was probably a time when we should have I went for an arm pin tackle, but you can see right here just weaving our way through here, and Tim Lafayette puts up a bomb. Who can get under it? It is Brett Morris, and Brett Morris scores the first points of the game as we hit the lead, I believe. I think we hit the lead. Yes, it is. 4-0, and it's right before halftime as well, so that was pretty nice. And also, I've got to say, score line is still tight. Uh, obviously, we're playing 10 minute halves, but I mean... I don't control everybody, so, um, you know, it's going to be some of those games where that's just what happens, but this is a brilliant bit of play here, James Hart, he took on Tedesco, he took on a whole bunch of Tigers players, in fact, and Kenny's going to go for the corner, and he's going to get there with ease there, James Hart, because his first try of the NRL season, I think it is, uh, maybe he did score on the, um, the episode previously, but, um, well, at least this is the first game, the first try of the episode, uh, at least, so, great work there by James Hart there, and I think that was well deserved, the, the previous line break he had, bit unlucky that we got run down. Well, I suppose not unlucky, but uh, this time it was uh, a lot easier. We just had to pin the ears back and we got there pretty convincingly after we did all the hard work to beat those players. Initially, Tedesco got left in the dust there. Right here, um, we just do an offload. We end up getting thrown over the sideline. Brett Morris, it was the try scorer. Um, he got thrown over the sideline. Should James Hart have taken the tackle? Probably, but I uh, thought it was worth the risk. And maybe Brett Morris should have just came in field a little bit. But that is brilliant tackle there, which forces a turnover there as uh, they go for a little offload that didn't need to happen. Very reminiscent of ourself, uh, as in James Hart. Um, and it was Brett Morris who grabbed the ball here. But see here, James Hart is going to take on Tedesco once again. He Curtis Siren and coming in behind here. But he's going to take on Tedesco and he is tackled. Now, a lot of the times we take on... Uh, that sort of uh, play, and we end up just going straight past them. But that is absolute magic right there from James Hart. That was incredible there. Tim Brown doesn't usually get a start for us or for the Bulldogs, but he's on the receiving end of a brilliant little offload there. And that is something that usually gets called forward. So I was thrilled for that to uh, be allowed. And that is the third try of the game. Hawkinson kicks his first goal as well. So 14-0, that's uh, quite nice. You can see Luke Lewis on the ball, uh, an off-season signing for the Bulldogs. Uh, welcome addition to the side, I have to say. But he has the ball stripped from him, which gives Tigers great field position here. And they're trying to take advantage of that with Robbie Farah. So I uh, we weren't involved in that play directly, but this play we will be involved in as we come up with a big tackle, which lands, uh, which lands Luke Lewis with the ball here. And he's going to race away length of the field here. That's just brilliant stuff from us. I'm not sure exactly who it was on the ball from the Tigers. I think it was Nofaluma, but tackle right around the ribs there. He went for the offload, and there was just no way that offload was was coming off, really. And uh, thankfully, Luke Lewis uh, ended up with the ball. Ran length of the field. He was a former winger, so he should be um, able to go the length in that sort of situation. But I don't know. It was good stuff there, and that was an even better tackle there from us. Um, we've had some pretty good tackles in this game, but I think none better than that one. It was on Brent and Sandy. 
The only problem is uh, we end up conceding another try from a bomb. And that seems to be one of the biggest ways we can see tries from uh, from bombs against this, which is super annoying. And obviously, we just got to get our stats a lot better because I'm pretty, sh I'm pretty good at the uh, catching the bombs. You know, with every other player, just not with James Hart. But uh, a very dominant performance from James Hart, apart from that little slip up there. He got 181 in the scoring. So, uh, man of the match by far, as we absolutely thumped the Tigers. So, it was nice to get our first win of the season. And it just shows that we aren't too far gone. Uh, the preseason we had was pretty impressive, I've got to say. We had a draw against the Tigers and a big win against um, the Roosters. Obviously, the first two games against um, the Sharks. And I forget who we took on in the other game, but I think it was the Roosters as well. But... Um, they weren't the most impressive performance by any means. I think we got flogged in both of them, but I think I think the side's a lot better than that. Obviously, last season didn't really show up, but the game lengths were were a bit weird, and I think it sort of deceived how good or bad we actually are. But uh, Panthers are a side last year that we had a lot of trouble with, especially Matt Moylan. I think he outplayed us at least in one of the games. Um, he's someone who's very, very good. He's very fast in this game, and you know he's pretty stepping and that sort of stuff. Seguiara is another one who I believe it was Seguiara who had a nice little run there, and I've got to say... Hooker position, if you got a fast hooker, in particular for this BA Pro mode, you know, you're going to do some damage because they take lots of runs from the hooker position and the markers are just suck for some reason. But right here, James Hart's going to take on Moylan, but he can't get past him. Try to just power our way over him, but we couldn't do that. And then I'm not sure who this is on the ball. Maybe it is Sergio or someone. I don't know, but um, that's a nice little tackle from us. And we're going to put in a kick. We haven't done a kick. Well, we haven't done too much kicking thus far this season. I'm um, sort of been taking a bat seek to, uh, to Hodkinson and that sort of stuff, but... We've taken uh, two pretty decent kicks there. We saw that one before, and there was a little grubber. But one thing that was really, really annoying was that we ended up getting substituted after letting that ball go out. So right here, we come back on 31st minute. I don't know what's the point of um, having Gutherson on the bench and just coming on for little five-minute spells. Cause that's what it seems to be, but that's what Dez is doing. And, you know, it's just sort of hurting the team, I'd have to say, so far. But 10-6, uh, it is at the moment. And just for halftime, they've had a few more chances. They launch up another bomb, something we've struggled with. But we are going to take the ball, which I thought was in, you know, in the in goal, but it wasn't. And we nearly, nearly make the Panthers pay. Um, we just about went the length of the field there. We just had to get a little bit uh, through that gap a little bit more. And that's another time we'll throw a bit of a gap. Those half gaps are opening up so easily for us. Just a matter of, you know, poking our nose through it a little bit more. And, you know, maybe breaking a tackle or palming off someone. Just, or even having a little bit of support with us. Just need a little bit more luck to go away. And we're going to score few tries this game I reckon but take on Jamie Sow just here we get on the outside of him but I think it is Bryce Cartwright who strips the ball off us so pretty terrible way to start the second half but we take on Sow yet again here it was the last tackle but so not the greatest but the ball was deflected off uh, the Panthers so could that maybe have been a repeat set I suppose it could have been but it probably wasn't played up we sort of just went for a panic sort of kick because we ran it and we're in a bad position but I know uh, one of our players did end up getting the ball, so maybe he could have just threw a random little offload, but it didn't happen, and gives Panthers another opportunity. They do draw and pass there, and that is a cracker of a tackle there. What a great tackle that was. I think it might have been, I don't know, it's not Mansell. I don't know who it was on the wing there. Maybe David Simmons, but absolutely creamy over the sideline. That was an excellent tackle there, and find ourselves with another line break against us. Jamie Sowell this time, he forces an offload. They do end up with the ball there, but he was wrapped up by the Bulldogs defender. I'm not sure who it was, but good stuff there, and this is another good uh, little kick return. I'm finding our kick returns actually being pretty good, but Seguiero actually injured, and we're going to take on Moylan here. Moylan, he's coming across, but we step back inside, and that's exactly what we're trying to do in that first game against Tedesco. That's what I was talking about, and we do it brilliantly there, brilliantly there and we score another try. And i got to say, our try-scoring record this season is pretty darn good, I have to say, on um, the nines in the preseason, and uh, this game, these games, just a pretty good strike record. Hopefully, we continue it. Um, I don't expect to be scoring every game, but it'd be pretty nice if we can. That'd be awesome. But once again, another line break. We're creating so many meters, and you know we might not be, uh, you know, coming off with the, the finished product. But you know, one day we will have that finished product. You have to say so. It's very, very promising. We did get thrown over the sideline, which was a little bit disappointing. Going back to last episode, considering how many times we got thrown over the sideline, but. Uh, or got driven back or whatever. That's just not for a James Hart. That's for the whole side. But we come up with another victory. So two in a row there. That's brilliant stuff there. A 16-6 win. James Hart, man of the match by far with Brett Morris coming second and Michael Leacher there doing some pretty good work. But see you there. We just played really, really, really well. And uh, we're not really um, close to leveling up again after this one. But we have progressed. We have progressed to the next level currently. So we have moved up to an 81 overall. But uh, we're some way off getting the next level up. So I'm not sure when we'll hit the 82 region, but it should be pretty soon. But, you know, we've just hit the 81, so I'm pretty happy about that, as well as getting two wins um, to start the season. So we've got a 50% win 
win record uh, for the the NRL uh, of this season. So anyways, that's where the video is going to end. Hope you did enjoy it. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter, at MrLocalMyT. Facebook page is also in the description below. And also I've got a second channel going out and playing other random games that aren't sports games. It is Gaming with Mr. Luke, so go check that out as well. It's in the description. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.